Hi, I'm Mike with Garmin. In this video, we'll show you how to update both the standby and the active with the Jeppesen Navigation SD card. First, we'll ensure that the SD cards are resident in the bottom slots of the Garmin display unit. It's recommended that we always load nav data into the standby database location. Next, we'll power on the system and we'll remove power from the MFD, PFD1, and PFD2. We'll insert our updated SD card that contains the NAV databases in PFD2's top slot. Apply power to the PFD2. Next, the system will prompt the user to update the standby NAV database. Answer yes. It's the number 12 soft key. Then, the system will prompt the user to update the active NAV database location, and the answer is yes the number 12 soft key. Once the display powers on, update is complete. You can remove power from the number two PFD, repeat the previous steps for the MFD and PFD1. Once all the displays are loaded, power up the MFD, the PFD number one, the PFD number two, and GTC1 and GTC2, and monitor GTC1 and GTC2 from the GTC's database tab located at Utilities, Setup, Avionic Status, and Database. Monitor for the Sync Complete message under the NAV Standby and Active locations. If the sync does not occur or complete, power cycle the system. That concludes the update of the ship with Jeppesen NavData SD card. 